To start, you want to make sure that all of your parts are in the box and everything is included. You should have two plates, two bars. One is going to be the kickstand area, that's this one, and the other one is a stable off bar that goes on the bottom. You have the frame piece that the cushion actually attaches to. There's a pack of screws. There should be two that's only threaded on the very end and six that are threaded completely from the very top part of the screw to the very tip. You should have a right leg and a left leg or a side. And you're going to identify them by the feet that goes on the floor with the rubber stopper and then this actually holds the round frame like so that the cushion goes on. Okay, so identify your right from your left and the top and the bottom. I'm just going to fold those that direction and get these out of the way. Next, you're going to have your front plate. So you want to identify it, the four holes that are in the top of it. That is the front piece, so it's going to go like this. You'll have your play bar with the two animals that will be attached and the cushion itself. Get that out of the way. Okay. Let's move this one to the side. To start, I'm going to go with the right leg. I'm going to take it and turn it over. You're going to take the piece where it says Fisher Price with the holes at the top. They slide right into this groove here. And you're going to have to force this a little bit to get it down in there and to snap into place. There. So we're going to put it on one side at a time. Okay. I'm going to screw it down. So you're going to use one of the screws that's threaded from the top to the very bottom. And you'll see here on this end you're going to have a screw hole. And on this side over here, you're going to have a screw hole. So we're going to go ahead and screw those in flush. Okay, and your, your two plastic, your leg piece or the side piece and the front piece should be flush when you put them together. So you're going to take another screw and attach. And next, we're going to attach the other leg. So we lay it down. This is the top. This is the bottom floor part. And you're going to do the exact same thing. And screw that into place. Okay, there's your base so far. Now we're going to flip it completely over. We're going to attach the kickstand. Kickstand is going to have the two rubber feet on it. If you'll see, there's already two little cutouts and it slips right in there. And then if you'll line your holes up, line the holes up so you can see all the way through. And on this part, you're going to use the screws that are just threaded on the very end. Push it through and then screw it in secure. Turn around and do the other side. Line up your holes. If it's easier for you, you can stand it up. Just make sure that your holes are lined up. Take your screw, push it through, and Screw it down so it's secure. And there's your kickstand. Next, flip it over. In the directions, this was the confusing part. This is a stable bar. It doesn't move in any way. You'll look with the feet up. 
If you look on the inside, you'll see a cutout in the plastic and there's a peg. It's the same thing on the other side. Cut out and there's a peg right there. So when you've got it upside down with the feet facing upward, this bar is going to go in this cutout just like this. One, on the one side of it, the peg is going to go in the very first hole in the bar. On the other side, don't ask me why they did this. On the other side, the peg is going to go in the second hole. Okay? So, I'm going to sit the peg in the cutout and it's going to pop right into the, the top. The little peg is going to come right through the top hole. On the other side, the peg is going to go through this second hole. Just like that. I'm going to take two screws and attach it, and it's the screw that's threaded from top to bottom. Turn it over. And screw it in secure. Flip it over and secure the other one. From that point, flip it over. You can take bar and it just simply fits through the hole. It has a little push button on it on both sides. Push it in until it locks into place. Next, you're going to attach the cushion itself. You'll see the back has a little area over it. It simply slips right over the bar. You'll see the little pegs. They go in these holes. And this is what you want to do when you wash it. Just simply pull these up and out. Then you're going to attach the forefront. There's the strap for the cushion, and it attaches there. To use the kickstand, simply pull it back. Keeps it stable. Push the kickstand in. And it has a little rocking motion. Let's pull it back out. If you want to set the baby up in more of a seating position, push these. I take my the pads of my palms, push it in, lift it up. Drop it back down. Recline. I've already attached the play bar. You'll see the back push, just little push knobs, and they just simply insert into the side. And that's how you assemble it. Very simple. So, mom and grandma tested, baby approved. She really likes this. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. And remember, if this video helped, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You never know what you may learn on my channel. So until next time, guys, be blessed.